YouTube. Thank you for logging into my channel. My name is Morgan Linson. I am from Los Angeles, California, born and raised. I am currently a registered nurse. And from my social media, a lot of people get the misunderstanding that I am a travel nurse, but instead I'm just a registered nurse that likes to travel. I've been to 45 countries in, in total thus far. And now it's March 2020 and we are on quarantine and I have been vlogging since 2017. I had failed to release anything because first of all, the vlogs are really true and dear to my heart and I really wanted to put them out when I had the when I was better at editing and even now um, I'm really not that good at editing so I had help with this um, editing process and also the reason why I didn't put it out is because I was traveling month to month I was traveling 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 and I did not have the time with my vlogs I really hope to encourage and inspire other people especially people that look like me to travel more it has been a misconception that traveling is very dangerous and although it does has it, it, its dangers and its possibilities. Every, anything in life does. Just going outside in general, you can be hurt or you can be robbed, you can be mugged or raped and things like that. So I believe in God and I know that you know he watches over me i take him with me everywhere i go in 2017 i really really started vlogging and in 2018 of um, october i took a very special trip to africa for vacation it was a four a four country trip i started in namibia south africa went to zambia and then ended in zimbabwe in namibia specifically i had to that's what you're gonna see here and I had to break it up in a part one, part two. So part one is gonna be Namibia, which you're gonna see very shortly. And then um, the part two is gonna be South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. And Namibia specifically, um, I went to all of those countries alone because I really wanted to use that time to really like, you know, dig within myself, get to know myself, get to know the environment and really um, explore um, the indigenous tribes, which I have a great interest in. So when I got to Namibia, I was able to visit with the Sam Bushman tribe and the Himba tribe. The Himba tribe specifically, um, I spent most time with. Um, I was able to spend the whole day with them, talk to them via my translator that was with me which was my guide as well um, and I was also able to like engage in their traditional dress so I just converted to like a himba person and like really really was blessed by their presence um, I learned a lot they learned a lot from me what I want to tell people that have an interest to go see indigenous tribes please be cautious and be sensitive to them don't just go in there taking a lot of pictures let them warm up to you let them get to know you you and you know don't exploit them because I never want even though I'm showing you guys this and anybody that has a problem with nudity do not log on to this because my vlog was done without editing as far as like you know editing their breasts out because they still don't really um, engage in like they they still engage in their traditional way of life which was living in the nude so women have their breasts showing and things like that and it's nothing Thing that is should be offensive is just how they live if you have a problem with nudity do not log into or do not watch this video the point I want to get across is in the States or just in a lot of different countries we take a lot of luxuries that we have for granted um, these people they don't have running water electricity the nourishment as far as like healthy foods they don't have proper sanitation or even medical services but they make do with what they have and they're so rich in their spirituality so rich in their tradition and culture and I was just blessed to be with them and to really um, see that life can sometimes be taken for granted and the things that we have can be taken for granted yeah money is not everything it's mostly a about happiness that no money can buy so I really hope that you get something out of this this vlog I 
plan to release monthly every all of the vlogs that I've had I have 15 vlogs that's just sitting there uh, waiting to be released and so um, yeah take care you guys if you have a like a desire and a, a wish to travel just start saving your money and use the links below I'm gonna leave everything that I use as far as like all of the apps and services that I use to pretty much build my trip I do not rely on an travel agent to help me put together a trip I do everything on my own because it saves me money and also just gives me the autonomy to create the type of experience that I want to experience so yeah you guys take care during this quarantine practice your social distancing and just subscribe because I'm going to be releasing a lot more videos and so that you guys can get the notifications when they come out so yeah love y'all be blessed I'm already dressed as you guys can see. I came right in, took a shower, got dressed. This is my room. The garden boutique hotel is themed. So this is a Himba room. All of the Himba decorations. From? Los Angeles. Yeah, uh, LA. South Central. South Central. The worst Crenshaw. of the worst. Uh, Crenshaw. Crenshaw. <laughs> Compton. Compton. Yes. Yeah, you know, you know. From you the know. hood. Last time that I checked, it was five chains on my neck. You I'm know, from the hood. You, you from the hood? <laughs> yeah. For real? For real, for real. Oh, for real, it's all you are. Yes. <laughs> and I'm about to eat with these. The chicken with its bean box, zebra and oric, and kudu. <laughs> so I'm already dressed. It is around seven o'clock. I'm about to go eat breakfast really quickly and check out. And then we're going to take a road trip to northern Namibia, Namibia to go to the Atasha National Park for a safari. No, how are you? Good things. How are you? Thank you. Two well, rooms. One for me. One for my tour guide. My patio, my bed, refrigerator, and my bathroom. Super big, super nice. Get that fucking spider right there. I don't need to be cussing, I wish I, ooh, uh-uh. That thing look like it'll kill me with one, with one, uh-uh. Where my two guy at? He got to come get this. I did, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. I think this is a house spider. A house spider, my ass. That's a, a, a dangerous spider. No. A wild spider. You said a house spider. They are killing all the cockroach. She nah. -uh. <laughs> hey y'all. So as you guys can see, this is a nice hotel. I had to pay for my tour guide to stay here as well. Only thing about having a private tour guide is you have to pay for like all of the room and board, the the food, the gas, their private services, like pretty much all the accommodations. It's expensive, but to me, it's worth it if you can do it because I don't want to have to be dealing with groups i wanted to be able to change my itinerary as i wanted to when i contacted him and i asked him was he able to do this private tour for me he said yes and i pretty much told him what i wanted to do where i wanted to go how long i wanted to stay where i wanted to stay and i made all of the reservations so i was pretty much in control of everything everything so far has exceeded my expectations it's better than i could ever imagine now we're about to go on a safari drive which is also called a game drive and the reason why they call it a game drive is because you are pretty much looking for the animals good morning you guys so we're about to go to another hotel honestly like jumping from hotel to hotel is kind of hard because you can't never get settled in and then that it's a nice hotel but they wi-fi bad and they charge for every little thing 
like a, a iron as much as i paid for this hotel an iron should be included but whatever on to the next i said i'm gonna wear this thing wrinkled hello, hello how, how are, are you good how are you good you look like one of my english teachers <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much let's go into the room this is the room high ceilings my bed shower makeup area and bathroom Wow. 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 They have that. Okay, y'all, so it's 5, 5.30 in the morning, and we're about to leave to go to Oporo. We were supposed to leave, like, probably, like, actually, it's, like, 5.40, so we are supposed to leave at 5. But anyways, it's going to take us seven hours to get there. The sun isn't even out yet, okay? So, you have to greet them first and let them know that we're coming in here instead of just showing up. It's kind of disrespectful to do so. Petty V. <laughs> How are you? Mm. <laughs> Should I come in? Yeah. Hi. Nawa. 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 Hello. How is America? It's good. It's good. Oh, America. Ask about the rain. How is the rain tonight? Oh, it's dry like here. It's no, hot no, most no, of no, the no, time. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Tell her that they were teaching us how to hunt. Like they was giving us a demonstration on how to hunt. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, Mago, we hit it out in the moon when I go to one night. We are from one night and from one night. When are we going to go? Is we be able to take it out? Yeah. Yeah, it's like um. Can you take it out? Not now. It's liquid. Mago, though. Oh, you drop a gin and you move the book. I got this old papira. Oh, you got this. I go, 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 it hurts. Tell them it hurts. Mago, you have money now. Oh, no, we just oh, oh, go out here. Like that. You say till you die, it won't get off. Yeah. Well, this here, I had a tattoo and I had it removed. Mago. Oh, I prefer to remove. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. That's what it does. It's permanent. Hmm. It's scar. Oh, oh, jamba, you didn't mention. Hmm. I didn't mention. Oh, you can't go to Bangkok. I didn't mention. Yeah, I'm not much. <laughs> so where is where is your husband? Oh none. Oh, so now I'm about to do the traditional hemba dress.
Oh, yeah, I'm winning now. You do money, my river. I don't know what I'm If I speak, they don't know I'm, I'm American. Yeah, just don't speak. Just yes. they're gonna catch on because of the hair. Oh, yeah. Hold on, don't drink. I don't know. I hit a man. Say, <laughs> yeah, this is the, the stuff yes. of your mom that you are selling. How did yes. you survive? Yes. It's gonna hurt. It's sprung. It hurts. So tell her to put something hard, wrap it to immobilize it. So if it's broken, it can heal. Tell her I won't forget her. Yeah, she won't forget you. Till you die, she will let Steven know. Let Steven let, uh, let you know. I'm gonna come back next year. Mm. Thank you. The amazing. I suggest anybody that want to come and visit the Himba tribe to stay at the lodge and you won't have to get a private guide. You could just do the guide from the hotel because they offer it here. So I'm leaving, but look at that. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> look at this pool. They got my phone looking at their family in Okoro. Uh uh. I'm back in Windhoek. Um, I didn't really have a good day today because I was supposed to go to the Damara Living Museum and my tour guide for some reason said that he thought that he said that I didn't want to go or something like that but I never said that. I'm just irritated about that. Hey y'all so it's 5 45. Made sure I got all my stuff out the room. I'm on my way to South Africa. My flight leaves in two hours from right now so I gotta rush 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 and the airport is like 30 minutes away so yeah, I'm always late. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Uh, Cape Town. Cape Town, the second. Okay, thank you. So I'm flying first class this morning, you guys. Woo! I think I'm doing something. <laughs> so the flight is pretty much full, and I'm the only one in first class. How fortunate is that? Literally, the only person. 